guys, I am doing a Dollar Tree DIY decor video today and I'm using some Dollar Tree frames that I got last year, um, frames and mirrors basically. And for this product you're going to need some Mod Podge, a pencil, some scissors, um, and then any kind of image that you want to either decoupage or be in your frame. So I'm going to be using some ink here as well to distress it, uh, manila folders to kind of add an extra layer of sturdiness, and then some designer paper from Tim Holtz and some napkins. And then the final touch on one of these is actually going to be some Dollar Tree butterfly stickers. Got some napkins there. saw my DIY embroidery hoop video, these are the exact same frames. So the mirror just pops up really easily in the back and I'm going to use that as my template to draw onto my manila folders and also my pattern paper. So once I cut out my base from the manila folder, I'm going to figure out what placement I want and the first frame I'm going to do some decoupage with those napkins. So I'm going to use the owl image and figure out where I want him to be and then I'm going to start decoupaging the background with some book pages. And I'm going to use a, a thesaurus that I have that is kind of falling apart. So I use that a lot for these decoupage book page projects. Now once I've covered my base, I'm going to set that aside so that it can dry and then I'm going to trim off all of the excess and then I'm going to lay down my owl and also a few clock pieces. When it comes to white napkins, they blend in really easily with their background when you decoupage them. So I didn't want the book pages to show through the white clock face, so that is why I added the black clock face first to kind of give it a base and then the white on top of that, and so you don't actually see the book pages coming through the white plot face. So for the second frame, I'm actually going to be using some Tim Holtz paper here. I just found an image that I like. I really like the one with the butterflies, so I'm going to place the mirror where I'd like that frame to sit, trace around it, and cut it out. So I didn't really like that these butterflies were monochromatic, so I decided to watercolor them a bit. And I'm using a combination of red, pink, orange, and yellow. And this Tim Holtz paper is actually not the resist paper. I know that he does have some that's supposed to resist any kind of inks or stains that you use on them. This is not that kind of paper, but for some reason the watercolor would not soak in. And so I had to do several layers and blot in between, but I do like the result, um, just a hint of color and it looks faded like an old illustration. Now before I distress these pieces, I am going to add a layer to the back of this paper of the little folder just to make it a bit sturdier. And then I'm going to go around the edges of both of these pieces with some distress ink and an ink dauber blotter. I can't remember what these things are called. Um, I've had mine forever and it's starting to crumble and fall apart. Um, but I just use that all around the edges to give this a really worn vintage look.
once everything is dry, I'm going to pop these back into the frames. I did have to do a bit of adjusting, um, trimming things down a little bit here and there. And then also, in the end, they didn't sit flat in the frames. They, they kind of bow out a little bit. But I do like that because it adds to the vintage feel. Um, I wanted to find a way to do that with some glass, but I just don't really know how to DIY that. That's something that I might have to try for next year. So the final touch for this one is I'm going to deconstruct these Dollar Tree stickers. I didn't like the holographic background, so I just pulled off the fronts. I did back some of these because they are clear. I did back them with a little bit of white paint so that they stood out. And then I just attach them all over the frame so it looks like they're flying out of the picture frame. Alright, so we're going to end here with some close-ups of these guys hanging on the wall. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you can think of some outside-of-the-box things to do with your Dollar Tree products. I'll see you guys in the next video.